I'm just wondering what the heck is going on in Greene County and did they drop the ball on this as bad as it looks like they dropped the ball on this? So according to the probable cause affidavit on May 20th, 2020, so almost four years ago, the Arkansas Child Abuse Hotline received a referral in reference to the suspected SA of a seven-year-old male. That child was interviewed and during that interview, the seven-year-old disclosed multiple sex acts that would constitute rape. He was able to give details of one of the acts and name the person that did these acts to him as Maurice Cooper. These acts all happened in Greene County. Now, during the investigation, it was learned that Maurice Cooper did have access to the seven-year-old because the seven-year-old spent the night at Maurice's home on several occasions within a three-month time period. Now, it says in here, law enforcement attempted to locate the potential defendant and was able to do so, but I'm thinking they meant they weren't able to do so. Either way, three and a half years later, November 29th, 2023, the Arkansas Child Abuse Hotline received another referral involving Maurice Cooper, and this time it was a six-year-old male. It says that the six-year-old was interviewed and disclosed similar sex acts performed on him by Maurice Cooper as what the seven-year-old disclosed several years before. And also it says that the seven-year-old in 2020 and the six-year-old in 2023 did not know each other. The six-year-old provided descriptive details of these acts. And I'm just thinking, why was nothing done about that back in 2020? Even if you couldn't find him then, what about 2021, 2022, 2023? up until November of 2023, where this person was allowed to prey on another child. So Maurice Cooper was charged with rape in that case. The way that it looks is Maurice Cooper was charged with rape, the one count, against the child from 2020. Then he was charged with three counts of rape against the six-year-old child from 2023. So that's four counts of rape that he was charged with. The report doesn't say exactly what Maurice Cooper said, but it does say that he made incriminating statements whenever police interviewed him back in 2023. Then when Maurice Cooper was charged with rape in those other cases, police searched his phone and found five photos that constituted CSAM. So he was charged with possessing CSAM as well, five counts of it. So today on April 15th, Maurice Cooper pled guilty in court to two of the grape charges and the other two charges, plus all of the possessing CSAM charges were dropped. Maurice Cooper was sentenced to 420 months in the Arkansas Department of Corrections, which comes out to 35 years. I'm assuming that the two grape charges for which he was sentenced to 35 years in prison will run concurrently, meaning he was sentenced to a total of 35 years. I can't find anything that says otherwise. So we'll see if it's different. I will certainly update, but I'm thinking it was just 35 years, which considering he could have got life in prison and he had two victims, he got a pretty good deal, unfortunately, but at least he'll be somewhere where he can't hurt children for the foreseeable future. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I do kind of feel like maybe Green County dropped the ball. Maybe they couldn't locate him. And that could be understandable, except for he was still in Green County and he then had another victim, which is unfortunate at best. It's unfortunate that they maybe couldn't locate him and he had another victim. But on the other hand, if they just let it go and didn't do their jobs and there was another victim, that's kind of on them, in my opinion. What do you guys think? think 